July is the busiest month of the year on the basketball recruiting trail as three five-day periods allow for college coaches to travel the country and watch top talent. It's also a good time to update our Rivals 150 for the rising senior class. At the very top of the list, there's no change as six foot seven wing Josh Jackson continues to hold on to the top spot in the class of 2016. A native of Detroit who attends school in Napa Valley, California and plays high school ball at Prolific Prep, Jackson is an electric open court performer with extreme athleticism and quickness. Jackson is more than just an athlete though, he's a top notch playmaker. He puts pressure on the defense at all times with his ability to tack off the dribble, makes those around him better with his passing, and he's every bit as good on the defensive end as he is on the offensive side of the ball. There are no changes immediately behind Jackson as Harry Giles, Jason Tatum, and Dennis Smith remain in spots two, three, and four. So we're gonna instead focus on two huge movers into five-star territory, point guard Frank Jackson and small forward Jonathan Isaac. A six foot three point guard from Highland, Utah Lone Peak High School, Jackson was ranked number 31 heading into the spring and has now risen all the way up to number 10 nationally. A scoring point guard, Jackson uses his quickness and skill off the dribble to get into the lane at will, and there he has an assortment of floaters and pull-ups that he can use, or he can rely on above average athleticism to reach an extra gear to finish over bigger players. While he's a scorer at heart, Jackson has also improved as a playmaker and is easily one of the most exciting players in what has turned out to be a strong group of point guards at the top of the 2016 class. Isaac has made a huge jump going all the way up from number 46 at the beginning of the spring to number 13. A thin 6 foot 8 wing player who moves effortlessly around the perimeter, Isaac has a gorgeous jump shot that is true to be on the 3 point line. He's got some post game and gets better and better off the dribble each time he hits the floor. He just seems to be realizing how gifted he is and as he continues to add strength and confidence he will complete his transformation from intriguing prospect to bona fide big timer.